In this tutorial, we'll talk about creating dashboards. Dashboards are a powerful tool for using the Nanox database more efficiently and creating interfaces that are easy to use for the end user. In the dashboard, we can customize our system to our company and display all the main information that the user needs for their day-to-day -day life. For example, we can add our to-do tasks, charts for analytical display, different filters in our data, and other automations. Let's get started. First, let's enable admin mode and add a new table. Let's call this table dashboard and add an icon here. OK, let's now save and open this new table. We need to add just one record. And now that we have one record, let's just display this as a form. So let's create a new view and just call it dashboard. OK. We can also delete the previous table that we have. Now that we have an empty form, let's start adding some layout elements in order to customize it to our company. So in this case, let's create a layout element, free text, and insert the company name. Let's call it My Company. And here we can style it to our need. Let's change the font color, the font size, make it bold, put it in the center, and let's also add a border style, also in blue. Okay. So here we can put our company name and change how it looks. And also we can put uh, an image field, for example. Save changes. So we have here the Linux logo. When we have an image field, we can also display it in a better way by inserting a formula and inserting the image that we want. In this way, we can adjust it and make it more customizable, for example, by removing the background color. So here in, in the style, we can put background color white and also remove the field name. Let's put it hidden. So you see that the background color doesn't appear anymore. If we click on it, the image will pop up. But if we don't want to do that, on this section on click, let's just put a zero here, which means false. And now if we click on it, nothing will happen. OK, we can now hide this image by going to display field only if and also putting a zero. OK, so we have now our company logo and also the company name. And let's see. Now let's create a choice field with the information that we want to display in our form. So let's create here a choice field. And let's display it as a switch and also hide the field name position. So it is now hidden and we can put the choices that we want. So let's say that we want to see our clients, our invoices, and our products. OK. If we now make this a little bit bigger as well, we can now choose what are the choices that we want to display. In this case, the blue color, which is standard, actually matches the Nanox colors, of course. But you can also choose the colors that you want to display in a way that it makes more sense to your company. The next thing about the choice field that we have just added is that it needs to be set as binding per record in memory. This means that when the choice field is changed by any user, the changes will not be saved in the server. Instead, they will be saved in the browser memory. 
So whenever a user changes the information in this choice field, it is not going to affect how the other users see the dashboard. Let's now save changes. Okay, so now if we want to see the client's information directly from here, we can add a table view. So let's go to layout elements and insert a view. And here we can call the table that we want to display. So if we click on formula, we can now select client's table. And let's also change the name of this table. Let's call it clients. Here we can see all of the clients that we have in our table. But we want to display this table view only if the client's choice is chosen. So let's click again on our view and in the section display field only if, let's put choice equal one. This means that this table view will appear only when the client's choice is selected. And here, let's add another table for our invoices. So let's go to Layout Elements, View, and let's put Select Invoices. OK. Again, in our display field only if, let's put text choice equal invoices. So there are two ways of writing down this function. You can choose the one that suits you better and save. Now, if we select the clients, only the clients table will appear. If we select the invoices, the invoices table will appear. In this tables, we can define what are the columns that we want to display. For example, in this case, let's hide this invoice ID. And let's insert here the client's name. Let's select the client and the name. We can also add some filters in our invoices. For example, if we want to display only the invoices from a specific year, we can add a number field where we can choose which year is going to be selected. Let's call this number field year and also display this only if the choice is equal to or if the text of the choice is equal invoices. It is very important to assign the binding a record in memory browser as well. In this way, the filter that one user is doing in his own screen will not affect how other users see the dashboard. And here, if we insert the ear that we want, our invoices will also be filled. We can do this by going to the formula and inserting the variable that we need. So let y equal year and let's select the invoices where the year of the invoice date is equal y so if we now save this and we choose 2022 here we'll see only the invoices from 2022. If instead we put 2021, we'll see only the invoices from 2021. In this way, we will be able to see our set of data in a filtered way. And of course, we can continue filtering it directly in our invoices table. For example, here, if we want to see only the ones that have been, that are new, we don't have any for 2021, but we have some for 2022. And in this way, it makes our system friendly and easy to use to all of our end users in a way that they'll feel more comfortable with finding the data directly from here. We can also add multiple filters by simply adding other filter reference 
and inserting our filters here in our select statement. In this tutorial, we saw how to create a dashboard and customize it to our company needs by inserting a logo and the company name and also choices where we can display the records that we need. Also, we saw how to work with the binding function for these choices and with filters to filter our records directly by the information that we choose in the dashboard. Ninox 